After the successful completion of your order, you get to this page. We created an installer that will automate the process for you, so just download the installer for your platform and then launch it. You might get a notification in macOS that our app has been downloaded from the internet. You can safely click Open to proceed. First, you need to log in using your VI Labs credentials. Second, you get to the page where you install our player, the UVI Workstation. Depending on if you already have it installed, you will get a message advising you to update it or install it. If you're not sure, an update never hurts. The UVI Workstation installer will be downloaded and it should launch automatically. If not, just look for it in your Downloads folder and launch it manually. Once the UVI workstation installation is finished, get back to the VI Labs installer. On Windows systems, this installer will also install PACE components. That's normal, so just follow the steps. The next step is the serial number registration. If you purchased your serial number from us, it will appear in the list and you can simply click on Authorize. If you purchased it from a third-party vendor, it will not be in the list and you will have to click the button and enter it manually. The vendor should have sent the serial to you in an email after your purchase. If you don't have an iLock account yet, and you need to make sure that you in fact do not, you can create one in a few easy steps. Click on Create a new iLock account, and fill the required information. Then click on Create my iLock account. If your ID is valid and not used by someone else, you will be taken to the previous screen where you can then register your serial number. If you already have an iLock account, just enter your iLock ID and click Verify. If that account is not a valid iLock ID, you will get an error message. But if it's valid, you will see some information about that account. Make sure that it's yours before clicking on Register. If it's not, the license will be sent to someone else. Once you're sure, just click on Register and the license will be sent to your iLock account. The next step is required to activate the license on your computer or your iLock key if you own one. This is done in the iLock License Manager, so just click on the link that says Open the iLock License Manager, or open it manually. It is located in the Applications along with your other apps. Once it's open, log into the same iLock account that you just used, and you should see the license you just registered in the main list. Now simply drag and drop it to your computer or your iLock key if you have one. They all should be listed in the left column. Once that's done, you can close the iLock License Manager and get back to the VI Labs installer. The last step is installing the library you just purchased. So now click on the fourth tab, and if you registered your serial number properly, the download link should be shown in the list. Just click on Install and choose the location where you want to install it. By default, the installer uses the default UVI folder, but you can install it wherever you want. The download will then start and the extraction will follow. If everything goes well, you should get a success message telling you that the library has been successfully installed.
Now you just have to open the UVI workstation, double click at the top on double click to open browser, the library will be available under sound banks. Select it and then double click a preset to load, then you can start playing.